right here we got the brand new Slayer Propel Max by Native Watercraft and the Old Town Top Water 120. Let's see how these two boats compare. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So the 120 has been one of my favorite boats for a long time. But like anything out there, if you stop using it, you kind of forget about it, you know? And that's what happened. My friend had it for a few months and I wasn't using it. And I haven't really been able to reconnect with it a lot, but that's gonna happen soon. The Slayer Propel Max 12.5 is six inches longer than the 120 PDL. It says it on the name, 120, uh, 12 and a half, right? So it's gonna be a longer boat and it's gonna be a narrower boat. That one is 36 inches, but guess what? We did a race putting these two together and I felt like the Old Town may have been a little faster, but it was really hard to compare. Like I would say they're about the same speed, these two boats. Now we were, I was tired during the race, so check it out. I'm gonna link it somewhere on here. If, it, if it's not linked, yes, because it's not ready. But anyways, I was a little bit tired, so uh, yeah, draw from that whatever you want. Now let's talk about some of the difference. Let's start right here in the front. This is kind of like a value budget like fishing kayak. You get some really good fishers, but not all of them. If you want more stuff, look at the Predator line. Right here on the Slayer, what we have here is native watercraft top of the line fishing kayak. If you want the Titan, well the Titan is something different, it's heavier, it's bigger, that's something else. But this is like on the 12 foot wrench fishing kayaks, I think this is like their premium stuff. So let's start comparing right here in the front. We see, I really like this handle here on the native and the fact that you could put a power pole in the front or a bow mounted trolling motor using those inserts, quarter inch power pole insert, quarter inch 20. Here on the Old Town Top Water, you just get the handle here, you don't have any fancy stuff. You do have a hatch here that is able to, you're able to use the storage right there and put rods in there. I have, it's not a big deal. You could also put rods in here, but I'll be more careful. I wouldn't put us, you know, maybe maximum seven foot rods and I'll be careful with it. If you open it, you get a little hatch right here, liner that you can pull up and you get access to inside the boat and you get a place to put your battery, right? You can put your battery there, no problem, and put the cables through. And you could also install kind of like an electrical utility box, but more on that later. And then you get the drive right here. On the Old Town, you don't get much fancy... Oh yeah, I didn't mention that. Let's talk about that, right? So the Slayer, you can see that you could put one or two rods right here. I think you could put two, for sure one. And you could protect it right there using those protection for the rods. And right here, the cover, you got bungees and you got gear tracks. You could put your camera mounts and stuff like that. Not a rod holder though. And you could just lock it down right here. No problem, boom. The whole town top water one turn doesn't have that, but what it has is a universal transducer setup and the Slayer has the same thing. I'm gonna so I'm gonna show you that when I flip the boats over. But there you go. Now you could put the battery here. You could hang it inside somewhere around here for that transducer. No problem. You can see that the Slayer offers a little more stuff. Right here in the middle, we got gear tracks. Just a little bit of gear tracks. The Slayer has those long running tracks and you got cutouts to put your Plano boxes. As you can see there. And you also have cutouts here to put your boxes, but they're tiny little box for real. Like there's not a lot of space right here to put the boxes. The native drive, this is a workhorse. And the new version 701 has this thing here to, for example, if you need to bring it up, you align the prop like so, and then you take it out. With the Old Town version, they, they did a giant hole here on the boat, but you don't have to worry about that. You just like bring it up and this thing comes out like no problem. It's not a big deal. Like 99% of the time, it just comes up no problem. So let's take a look at this two drive, how they differ. In terms of speed, they're about the same. I don't think one is faster than the other. A lot depends on the boat and the person doing the pedaling. 
but what I like about the old town is that you have extra storage right here see you can put your keys and stuff like that and it's gonna be stored right there it's not watertight water gets through for sure all the time so I wouldn't I mean I think it has water in there right now but here on the Slayer system you don't have that I, that Slayer for the little bit of time that I've been using it I think it's better with the grass than the old town top water 120 because it has that grass guard right there you see that right there you don't have that right here like grass gets in there and it's a problem now the seed that i have here is the seed from the old town predator pdl it's not the seed from that comes with the top water but you could upgrade the seed if you want to it's pretty much the same idea it's just that it's not as fancy when you pull the seat up, you get more space right here to store things that are waterproof because water goes through. Like I wouldn't put anything that you don't want to get wet, I wouldn't put it through. And you have a cup holder right here. The seat could slide forward and backward, but it's only one fixed position. You don't have high and low seating position like you have here on this layer. You could bring this up, the seat, you could bring it up or you could bring it down. Lower seating position, which the drawback here is that you don't have a lot of space here to store things underneath but you could bring the seat up and this let me tell you something this thing is super super stable like even on the high seating position you will not flip unless you want to and when you have the high seating position you have more access to that base right there this base you could move it a little back but don't recommend it because you'll be too far from the drive we can see here that you have a cup holder and moldering rod holders one there one there and one on the other side you see over there here you get two three flush mounted rod holders and you have an access point right here forgive me but i broke my rotor system this thing has a little wheel right here that could a screw that it would hold it in place like when you are going basically all you do is you tie it down and the boat is going to keep going straight here with the Slayer, I feel like you have to have your hands on that rudder knob all the time. That one over there, or the boat is, is just turned. Hopefully, though, maybe this rudder system is a little loose. Maybe the one that you're going to get is a better system, but I still doubt it. I remember my Slayer. I was always having to have my hands in there. Here with the Old Town, you could add friction to that, and this will not be moving. It will be stuck in there. Right, so let's keep going right here you got a tank well it's it's decent it's not that huge but it's decent but compared to this tank well that's like your takes the cake look at that that thing is humongous you put a giant cooler in there you can put a nice cooler here too but not a giant cooler oh my god look at that that's kind of crazy you got to put your paddle holders right here top water 120 you put it right here a lot of people complain about just having one handle and having one handle on the side and I mean I, why not just make it flat and put a handle that goes over I don't know maybe they could do that or maybe put two handles one here one here we'll see but just one handle on the side is not a great idea I, I don't think so these two bows they turn on the spot like you have no problem turning but I like better the idea of having the rudder down there why because I have this area right here to install power poles or to install motors. Right here, that rotor is gonna be like when it, you cannot install a motor here unless you replace the rotor, right? And I've done it before. You could also, like Bisbee has a Gusion that you can install there and you put the Bisbee rotor, universal rotor, and it works. But that over there was far easier to install a motor because you got that power pole fittings. That's pretty much the boat from the outside. Now let's go ahead and turn the boat on the side and talk about the hull and talk about stability and pricing because yes, you get more stuff over there in the Slayer and it's because you pay a little bit more. $2,600 here on the top water 120 is $2,150. So you're saving a little bit of money if you buy the 120 and the truth is that everything you need for fishing to have a good time on the water, even go offshore, is here. You have it, but if you want more stuff, power pole fittings, from power pole fittings, like I, I see that if you're able to go really high and really low, well, this may be the boat for you. Now, let's turn it 
on the side. I'm gonna take the drive uh, off and also take the seat. So you guys can see what's going on here. Something else that you could do with the Slayers, you can install the landing gear, which makes it easier to transport this boat. You just attach it right there. You can move it up or down depending where you want it. In here on the 120, you're gonna have to drill. Like there's no way to install the landing gear unless you drill. Okay, so I'm not gonna take the seat, I'm just gonna take the drive because it's a hassle to take the seat. Boom. All right, so let's go ahead and turn to the side and we're gonna talk about the hole and the stability now. Oops, should have done that. I should have not done that. I'm the worst. I'm the worst. Alright, handles. There you go. Alright, so let me just bring this slayer closer. Oh, that hurt. Whew. Should have taken the seat off. Anyways, doesn't matter. Okay, look at that. So the Slayer definitely has a more pronounced uh, bow that, that is gonna cut through wave. Here the top water is a little bit different. You get the same idea for a universal transducer plate, although this area is way bigger here on the top water 120. Over here you just have a little bit of a cutout. Now this transducer could go down to be flush with the boat. You can install it that way, that's no problem. The, in terms of the cavity, like this one is wider, but it's not as long as the one that you have on the Slayer. Look at that. And the scoper holes, Slayer has eight. The 120 has one, two, three, seven, 11. OMG, did I count this right? Yes, I did. 10, 11, but this one, this one is for the transducer. Oh, I missed one. You have a little tiny one over there on the Slayer to, for the transducer. But look at these two bolts. Look at those holes. They call this a double, double U hole because you see those two U over there. But here you can say that it's the same thing on the Slayer. Let me tell you something. You will not flip on this boat unless you try to. I do have to say, based on my testing, the Slayer is more stable like definitely more stable than the old town top water 120 for sure like i i tested it it was more stable you can check it out you can check the videos but which one would i get i don't know i may be a little biased with the slayer being my first boat on everything and the price difference not that much so i do think that even though this is a great value right here and old town is doing great things lowering prices I, I would personally spend a little bit more money and get the Slayer because you get so much more stuff for real. You get a bunch of other stuff. Now, I'm hoping and hoping and and hoping that Old Town answers my my request and come up with a boat that is so that is like this one. This boat, but full of stuff, power pole plates, tracks everywhere. Like kind of like this, but on this. Will they do it? I don't know. They do have it, the Predator PDL. The Predator PDL is gonna be, it's cheaper than the Slayer and it has a lot of the same stuff going for it, but unfortunately, it's not my favorite. I want more stability. I want stability over speed. That's what I want. And the Predator doesn't offer that. Now, there you have it. I may, again, I may be a little biased with a Slayer, having a Slayer for years, being my first ever pedal drive kayak. But I, I do feel like in this game, the Slayer is a clear winner. And I don't think it's a fair fight because, again, it's more money for the Slayer. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video. Because if you didn't, you have two problems. You watched the whole entire video and you didn't like it. There's, maybe there's something wrong with you. But if you did like it, don't forget to share it. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Like a sign? Here's your sign. Subscribe.